Well, I wasn't going to video film today, you guys. Had a very crazy morning getting the kids back to school learning. Got all that taken care of. They did really good today. And then got chores done. Jason went for a hike. All right, Jace, what's going on? <laughs> the burner went out for the oven, so. But it works on the broil. That's what I don't get. You can do the broil and you can do the stove top, but you can't it's do. the bottom. So there's a valve in there that, according to the instructions, maybe got turned off. So I took out the drawer and there's nasties. That's a look at it. You want to show it? Oh, that doesn't really show you all the fun stuff. There looks a little nuggets, some Cheerios, Fruit Loops, good old stuff. There's that back there. That's what I need to get to. Let's clean it out, and then I'll go back there. There's a lever back there. Yeah. And you just switched it? Well, I pulled. Now let's see what that does for us. Is that simple? It took wow. you longer to clean out? <laughs> well, I didn't have to clean it. I just did it because I'm awesome. <laughs> you are full of it today. See if the pilot turns on the bottom. I don't hear it. That didn't work. Usually it lights right up. So that's the broil. The broil one goes on, but we can't get the lower one to turn on and ignore the gross oven. Wait, what did you just decide or find out? It's not actually turned on, it's just a light? That's like an igniter switch thing, but that's not the gas. The gas isn't coming off the top. How could the gas be coming out up here, but not in there? That's the question. Different. A shut off lever at the back of the ring. All right, Jason and I kind of gave up. <laughs> Oh, he's letting me drive. So we need to, We looked at YouTube videos and the manual, and we decided that we need to go get some kind of meter to test if it's actually working. What is the meter called that we're gonna go get from Shane? Oh, uh, I don't remember. It only measures electricity. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go pick that up, right? Yeah. And then we're gonna go get dinner. <laughs> I actually initially wanted to go on like a mini date night, Car. I know. I'd like to do some date night. So too. I was like, this "Well, is this is it. Mm. We're gonna go get dinner. You know, we have things that we can make. Maybe we from home, but go somewhere after dinner or something. We have to get kids in bed or something. Or make the older ones here. You hold that. Or make the older ones babysit. Yeah. And actually put them into bed. I At least they're idea. not. I don't think they're in the mood to um, fully." Babysit take care of each other no, appropriately. not kill each other. Yeah. I mean, they're cleaning the playroom right now and it's not really going that well. All right, so we'll show you Red Robin when we get there. Oh, you admitted where we're going? <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> so we have this running joke with our friends. This is our friend that's a mechanic that has always fixed our cars and whatnot. So we came over to get this tool. He's got every tool in the world, man. I'm surprised he doesn't. This is the guy who, if you're in a past video, his wife threw him a birthday party and made uh, cookies that, that were tools. So yeah, the, cool. the snap-on tools snap -on and whatnot. Tools. He, anyway, he loves his tools. But we have this running um, kind of a joke that if we borrow something from each other, if we need butter or tools or passing things back and forth or whatever, that we exchange um, beverages as, as well and we're like you want a cold beverage do you want a cold coke or whatever well jason didn't want a cold coke so uh, he got from the kids he got apple juice <laughs> so we <laughs> drop for direction the hours of operation press three to speak to one of our hospitality Cheers. team members press four come join the fun at red robin we can't wait to see you this sounds like totally blaring on you okay, oh have a pickup for Dana Brown? You got it. Come and get your food. If you want it, you gotta help get it. You got, is it just this one left?
You said that when you were talking to Amy. <laughs> this is a really bright light. We've had them lights out for a, a while. So Jason and Kaylee just went practice driving. It's like hours after we ate dinner. And Dad had his first freak out moment with you. You nearly hit a fence. You freak out more than I does. thought she was. Getting... I freaked out more than he did. No, you freak out more often. You only no. You can't say that about you driving because I haven't yet. Mmm, Mmm, no, I haven't. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna do the stove test. That whatever, I don't know. Test whatever part this will test. Oh, bloody. So, like this is how it all started today. Abby went to make these rolls. <laughs> Oh, is that what it Yeah, and she couldn't get the stove to work, so. So you're trying to unscrew that now? Yeah, that's what I have to do to get access to uh, the, the underneath part. Nasty. I guess I clean that now? Yeah, there's the little. Oh, maybe all that gunk is what's damaged something. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out. This thing's supposed to glow. That's the glow starter thing. And it's not even. It's not even like lighting up. This one up here lit up. Oh, it did? Well, when we did the broil, yeah. it turned on. This isn't even glowing. All right, let's see if there's a breaker for the oven. Kitchen plugs, freezer, bath, washer, range. That might be it. The range? All right, this is our current status. It is 9.41. Stove is completely taken apart. Battery is dying. Jason's in here passing gas, so I'm not going anywhere near him. <laughs> it stinks so bad. And he's ordering the part online. All right, sorry, battery died, but he's ordering. Did you find it? Spark electro top. Sorry, battery died. He's gonna order that part, and we're gonna continue this little video when he gets the part and and puts it back in to the stove just because we didn't show much of the rest of our day today so we might as well just do it all in one fixing the stove because that's apparently what we're doing during quarantine is fixing our business and all the appliances that like to break in our house so stay tuned for one second and you'll see how we fix it or if we don't i don't know if that's actually going to fix it we wish we could go to lowe's and get this part support local ace hardware something but we'd probably have to order, order this on Amazon or something. So stay tuned and we will fix this stove. There is the new installed igniter. So let's see what happens when we start it up. That is what you want to see. So it looks like things are working. All right, so he's now putting the tray bottom back in. Right? Yep. And we have a working oven. All right. We're going to test should start it. It's glowing. I mean, I tested it before. Let's see if it works. Oh, oh, there. It's glowing. But is it giving Now is it getting hot? All right. So we're going to try it one more time. Is it igniting? Wait. There, there we go. Right. Just needed to get gas going through. Yep. So, yep. All right. Okay. At 350? I don't know. All right. Oh, so yeah. we are going to cook brownies now. That was the first thing the girls made and wanted to get cooked. All right. So how many days? It's been like a week since we've been out of a stove, right? The part came faster than expected because yeah. it's been a week. Yeah. So anyway, but it kind of proves that you can like figure out this kind of stuff on your own and not pay hundreds and hundreds to a mechanic to fix it. So thank you for fixing yeah, it for us. Yeah, we're buying a new stove, I mean. I know. So that's it, you guys. <laughs> the girls are coming to make brownies, but I'm glad we have an oven back now that all their birthdays are over. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any more birthday cakes to bake. So take care and we'll see you next time.